When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is Character Map. I'll show you where you can find all those symbols, accent marks, and weird little pictures that you want to place in your email or your Word document. This is a typical keyboard on most computers. If you look on it closely, you'll find that you have the letters A through Z, uh, small and capital letters. Uh, also along the top you have numbers 1 through 9 and 0, plus a few common symbols like the dollar sign, the pound sign, the percent sign, and so on. However, you don't have a lot of other keys. If you ever tried to communicate with somebody in a foreign language, there are lots of letters and symbols and accent marks that just don't appear in the English language and don't appear on your computer keyboard. What you need is what's called a character map. Here's a simple saying in English, are you having a good time? If you translate it into Spanish, Polish, Czech, or Greek, you can see all the symbols and letters and accent marks that are really strange to us. There's also many symbols in business currency, business, and miscellaneous that you cannot find on the keyboard. So what do you do? Well, Microsoft has a built-in program in all their operating systems called Character Map. The only problem is you have to find it. To find Character Map, you have to do the following. On your Windows 10 desktop, go down to the bottom to the taskbar, left-hand side bottom, and click in that question box. Type in character map. Once you've typed in character map, up at the top you'll see character map there. Click on that and it'll open up the application. Character map is a small window that you can move around on your desktop. The character map window can also be open in your Word document or your email. Left mouse click on one of the little boxes and use your right, left, up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate around and look at the various icons that are there. There are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these different symbols, characters, accent marks, and it goes on and on. I have no idea what some of these accent marks are for. I'm sure they have foreign language applications of some sort, but I've never seen some of these and uh, apparently they're useful because they're on here. As we continue scrolling down using our down arrow on our keyboard, we get into some more very exotic symbols and characters that I'm sure that somebody would find a good use for, but we'll just continue going on down just to show you the whole big wide variety of items that they do have. If you notice at the top of this box, there is a drop down arrow showing all the fonts that are on this computer. And there are a lot of fonts. And each font has a separate representation of all these symbols. They may be very similar, but they'll look slightly different. So check those out. Go down, pick a symbol. As you scroll down the list of fonts, stop at one occasionally just to check and see how these symbols differ from each font to font. Once you've gotten through a few of them, go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to find some very interesting fonts that you may not have known existed. On my computer, I have four special fonts. One's called Webdings, and further on I have Wingdings, Wingdings 2, and Wingdings 3. Take a look at those, you might be very surprised. 
As you can see, as I scroll through here, there are some very, very unusual small picture icons that you can put into your Word document, you can put into your email. And as you go through and go back and check Wingdings 2, Wingdings 3, you find even more representations. Go through, spend some time, check them out. You'll find some very interesting symbols. Keep going through the Wingdings 2 and looking them over. Then go down to Wingdings 3 and check out even more interesting symbols that you might be able to use in some documents or some emails. Uh, if you're planning a folder or a flyer, you can maybe use some of those there. Anyway, spend some time, look them over, and see what you can do with them. Okay, now once you've looked at them all, let's go ahead and go back up to Arial font and see what we can actually do with this character map and use it in practical everyday life. Let's go back to the little saying we had at the very beginning of this video. Are you having a good time? If it's in Spanish, this is what the equivalent is. So how do we get those symbols in the upside down question marks? We open up character map as I showed you previously and place it on our Word document. And on Arial, we'll go down and we'll find the symbol for the upside down question mark. Click on it to select it, then go down and hit the select button. It places it in the selection to copy box. Go over and hit the copy box. Then go back to your document, click on it, and hit Control V to paste it in. Keep typing until you reach the next accent symbol. Reopen your character map and find the symbol for the accented A. Click on it, but before you hit the select button, you have to go down and erase the one that's in the box already. Then hit your select button, hit your copy button, go back to your Word document, control V to paste it in. Now continue typing the rest of your sentence in the Spanish language. You may have to adjust the font size on these characters to make them fit. Another use for the character map, other than making a ransom note, would make a fun kids game called Picture Words. Go to your webdings, your wingdings, and start typing. You can have spy with an eye, telephone with a telephone, all kinds of sun with a sun in it, all kinds. And for example, down stop sign. Okay. Let's go over on to our character map. Let's find a hand. Press the select button and then go up and find a pen. Highlight it. Hit the select button. Now you have both of the characters in there. Hit copy. Go down and control V to paste. And now we have both symbols in there. Use your imagination and make a little kid's game out of it. I hope this has helped you to understand the character map, where to find it, and how to utilize it for those symbols, accent marks, and little pictures that you didn't know existed. If you like this video, please subscribe. My YouTube channel is free. Remember, seniors, shake, rattle, and roll. Bye for now.